Remember? Oh, gosh, what was I just about to ask you? Oh, I remember asking you this question. The question I asked you was, did you ever kill anybody in the war? And you said, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know for sure. You, 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 you got a better reaction than the, the newspaper men did in, in um, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We were back there for a reunion. Uh -huh. And they called some of us up to a room and the newspaper men were interviewing us. And this guy <laughs> asked me that same question. And I exploded. <laughs> or I did told you? him what I thought of his question and where he could put it. <laughs> yeah, that was the whole purpose of being, you know, a fighting man was to kill the enemy. Like Patton said. You know, you, you don't... You your don't job want, is to kill the enemy. It's, you don't want to think about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, like I told you, I mean, I don't know. I really don't. He, he, we, uh, I, I, I fired at a tank in Ludwigshafen across an open square. This yeah. tank was over there looking around for something to shoot at. And I, I, I said, uh, let's, let's give him a little trouble. So I opened up on him, trying to get something in one of those little apertures. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a bullet in there, it ricochets all over the place and cleans out the whole, <laughs> the whole crew. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just thought it'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. How heavy was that machine gun that you, you uh, carried? Well, pretty heavy. That's the reason I got my feet frozen. We crossed a small stream going into the uh, uh, river at the... Uh, The Danube? No, no, no. Uh, no oh, it was in, in France. It was, it was a, a Moselle, the Moselle River. Okay. Uh, we were on the banks of the Moselle River, walking along, going, moving up. And this was France, right? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that's right on the border. Mm -hmm. Look across okay. the river, and it's Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it, uh, but we were advancing along the river. We had uh, engineers out in front of us, uh, clearing the way. Uh, making sure we didn't hit any any mines along there. Right. I came across a small stream, and it was uh, it wasn't too 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 awful wide. I probably could have jumped it without the machine gun. Mm -hmm. but with the machine gun, I landed in the in the water, and we had uh, uh, not uh, shoe packs like we were supposed to have. They hadn't issued the city yet. I had galoshes. Well, galoshes just filled up with water. Yeah. And then uh, that morning, that was that was early morning. All morning long, we laid out in this field that was frozen over, uh, and we were being shot at by German machine guns. But they couldn't get you unless you stick your foot up in the air. The guys were all talking about it. Why don't we just stick our feet up in the air and get a shell in the in the heel and we'd go home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we got out of there, and then the, the, the afternoon we spent in in the shell holes outside of the town we were going into. And uh, by the time we got into the village, got into a, a, a house, I took off my shoes, and, and I had ice between my toes. Wow. They, they, they were, they'd been that cold. <clears throat> but it, uh, and we stayed there about, oh, three or four days before they relieved us from there. Mm -hmm. And uh, occasionally fighting, and, and uh, but no, uh, <clears throat> in Ludwigshafen, I I walked through the streets carrying a machine gun like this, firing from the hip. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, shortly before that there had been a movie where John Garfield or somebody was firing a uh, thirty caliber machine gun from the hip, and. Uh, uh, as opposed to people were saying it was impossible and so on and so forth. So our regiment, regimental combat team, the, the regimental commander told us that's the way we were going to go into Ludwigshafen. And uh, so we put on those asbestos gloves on our left hand and to hold the, the front of it without any chance of getting burnt real bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, carry them from the hip. And, uh, oh. <clears throat> wow. While we were there, after we took that, they came through 
Americans came through and crossed the Rhine right there. Uh, Patton wanted to cross the Rhine, but somebody else had an idea or something else. But during that time in there, we captured uh, um, a town along the uh, uh, Moselle there. Uh, uh, I, I lose names every once in a while. But uh, this town... I can't remember the names <laughs> of the, my best friends when I was in the service, yeah. except for one. Yeah. The... Uh, Anyway, but this is a historic town, uh, right along the Moselle there, and uh, Eisenhower sent down orders to Patton. He says, don't capture and this town, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we don't want to damage it. And Patton says, well, what do you want me to do? Want me to give it back? We already have it. <laughs> and every movie that Patton has been featured in has that same phrase. But this actually happened to us. Mm. Wow. They, they, the same thing was supposed to have happened in Sicily. And uh, uh, when Patton was fighting there. Mm. Right. He, right. Was, he, was, he was a tough guy. He, uh, he, he, he chewed us out one time because we had so many casualties, mainly frozen feet. Uh, and, uh, uh, but incidentally, there was, uh, one of our regiments had a, a bunch of soldiers who surrendered. And that, that's something you don't do under Patton. <laughs> you don't surrender. Anyway, he, uh, he got told about that, but it was too late. He'd already <coughs> chewed us out good. So I had a lot of good experiences. We, yeah, when I when I think about my army days, uh, you know, I really didn't want to go to Vietnam because I didn't want to have to shoot a rifle. Uh, that that was a worthless war anyway. Yeah, yeah, it was. And but you know what? Having read up about. My friend at work, Jose, get, gave me a bunch of books to read on Vietnam. One of them is called Guns Up. It's about machine gutter, actually, yeah. in Vietnam. And the the saying that they had over in Vietnam was the average life of a machine gunner is six seconds after he starts firing in yeah. Vietnam. Because they know where you are. That's right. You, you know, Tracers. You're, you're throwing out these these huge amounts of, of uh, ballistics, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why machine gunners are like the toughest of the toughest in a lot of ways. You know, it's like you got to have some some huge cojones <laughs> to even yeah. think you want to do that. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know about that. But uh, my dad probably was like me. If I'd have been called to do what they did in Vietnam, I'd have gone and done it. Yeah. And he was called up. He or I get, uh, I, I went in. You volunteered, didn't you? I volunteered to be drafted, but I volunteered to be drafted so that I would get taken into this Army Specialized Training Program. Yeah. Which was training in engineers. Florida. They were training engineers to go in on D-Day. And uh, all of a sudden, Eisenhower decided that we need soldiers. We need GIs more than we do engineers right now. So cut, out, cut it out. They took us out of college. I was at the University of Florida. Yeah, University oh, wow. of Florida. And uh, uh, we were studying uh, all kinds of subjects. I mean, but mainly a big lot of math and a lot of uh, 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 military science. And mm -hmm. uh, that's the two things I remember mostly. But it was a pretty well-rounded thing. And it was a, it had three-month semesters. Hmm. So that uh, in a year, we would have had two years of uh, college. Jeez. And, I mean, it was really packed in tight. Mm -hmm. We'd march between classes and uh, we shared the campus with uh, Air Force cadets. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, You showed me some pictures from that uh, campus, too, at one they, point. I, I think you still have some, don't you? I don't have them. I don't know where they are. Oh, okay. But uh, the uh, we had songs. Uh, the Air Force
forth would sing, take down your service flag, mother, your son's in the ASTP. <laughs> and we'd sing back to him, into the, into the sky, Junior Birdman, into the sky, upside down, into the sky, Junior Birdman, keep your nose up in the brown. <laughs>